My personal favorite animal here at the show is the bush dog. We have a whole bush dog family here that we're looking at. Right out front there is Dad. That is Motto. And he is eight years old. Right behind him is Mom. She's walking away. We'll focus on daughter. That's daughter right there. Her name is Izzy. And she is two years old. And right in the back is Mom.
them right in the chat. And what is their conservation status? So the bush moths are considered near threatened, and this is due to deforestation as well as some issues such as um, domesticated dogs hunting the bush dogs and hunting their prey. So actually because of those domestic dogs, they're actually prone to any disease passed from those domestic dogs to the bush dogs. So because of those factors, they are considered near threatened. And why are bush dogs one of your favorite animals here at Stone Zoo? Bush dogs are one of my favorite animals here at the Stone Zoo because of their, just because they're so unknown and elusive in the wild. So I just find it really interesting that there's still so much to learn about them, still so much that we are trying to figure out about them. They're kind of like a little mystery. Um, they're also obviously very fun to hang out with and to do feedings like this with. So they also are just very charming. They have unique personalities. And we've had a couple questions come in. So Christine was wondering, how many bush dogs does Stone Zoo have? So Stone Zoo has three bush dogs. We have our little family. We have mom, dad, and daughter. And we're actually one of, I believe, six zoos in the United States to have bush dogs. So we are very happy to have our own little family here. And Christina was wondering, why are their tails so short? That's a good question. I honestly don't know if there's a reason behind that short tail. And let's see, Evan was wondering what other food, what other foods does uh, the bush dog eat? So the bush dogs here at the zoo will get some dog chow as well as some meat on the regular. However, weekly they do get a special rodent that they try and find in their habitat. So that's always fun for them, a little weekly surprise. And when is the best time to come to the zoo to see the bush dog in action? Yeah, great question, because a lot of people do come on warmer, sunny days, and during those days, the bush dogs really like to hang out in the tall grass and take a nap, so they're not as visible or active as they are right now in the midday during the sun. So if you are available in the earlier morning or even in the later afternoon or on rainier days, that is when the bush dogs are most active and fun to hang out with. So definitely recommend early morning and late afternoon. So that does it for this week's Zoo to You. Thank you for joining me and learning about the bush dogs. I hope you had a good time and I hope you learned something. So.